All right, guys, it is Brendan. Welcome back to the channel, and thanks again for joining me down here in the lair. So what do we got going on today? It is time to share a secret with you. There's been a lot of talk lately um, as foam model airplanes start to increase in popularity and the accidents increase. Man, how do I fix these things? So I followed a lot of other tips and tricks that you see on Facebook or YouTube and things like that, but I've tweaked something and I want to share that with you. So I'm going to show you trick number one that everybody uses to fix things and what I've done in the past and it works really well. And then I'm going to show you something top secret. So stick around. And again, if you like it, like it. Uh, comment down below, smash that subscribe button to follow along with all the stuff that I do that's airplane related. And as always, click on that notification bell so that way you get updated when I do new videos. So um, let's talk about the A-10. So this is my fairly new A-10 and fairly wrecked A-10. Uh, I actually lost, I posted some pictures on Facebook. I got some type of debris caught in one of the nacelles up in the fan motor and it chewed up the cone and chewed up the blade and the housing and i bounced it once before that happened so i don't know if i knocked one of the armament off of there and it got stuck in there and chewed it up till i got around but it wound up really jamming up one of the motors and i had a lot of issues trying to get this thing to land i thought it was the wind until i saw the motor uh either way i got the plane down but it did a lot of front end damage so um in the midst of fixing that and i found some things that i want to share with you guys so um first things first before we cut over here to the a10 let's look at some of the foam pieces that i'm actually working on to finish this so first thing first everybody uses and i took a piece of old uh damaged foam here and you could see the dimple so we we get a lot of hanger rash and things like that so i poke a hole there this is just simply an old hotel card make sure the edges are clean and smooth you don't want to leave old residue on there and i use flexible spackle sandable spackle very lightweight inexpensive pick it up at your local hardware store next to nothing so literally all you need to do with this stuff is take just a little bit of this and you can go ahead and place it over that hole and literally smear it flat and almost like if you've done drywall work you know you're gonna go ahead and make a a couple runs over that and thus the hole is filled in you let this thing dry for a couple hours you can come back over um, i like to use 400 grit sandpaper then you can go to 800 grit to really smooth this thing out depending on how deep that hole is you may want to fill it and it works great and you can just touch this up so that's a super smooth um, easy fix for stuff like that so where does my problem come in my problem comes in with this a10 warthog and again i'm going to use this piece of uh, broken armature here off the bottom. And I wanna show you something. So we're down in the hangar, right? And we're moving planes around and all of a sudden we get something like this. So you can see that big deep groove that's in there. And let's say the rest of this is somewhat nice and I really don't wanna damage the rest of the product. And that was the issue I had with my A10. I had a lot of nose damage because the retract gear broke. This edge was really crushed in. And one of the things that everybody does in order to pop foam is they dunk it in hot water. Well, as you can see on the A10, there's really not a whole lot of damage going all the way up through here. So I really don't want to soak the whole nose and pop or alligator everything. So how do I get this section here that was caved in to really pop back out? How do I get this section to pop back out without dunking the whole nose? I tried the rags, I tried the heat gun, that didn't work. So here comes the top secret. You ready? So I am going to show you guys what I have found and it's a household item that maybe you have. So again, here was my divot. And if you choose to just spackle over it, that's fine. But again, I couldn't do that quite there on the nose. So thanks to the wife, I found out that she has a household steamer used for cleaning and it has a very little precise nozzle on this thing so you fill it up with some water you give it 15 20 minutes to start uh cooking and boiling its water and i'm going to pan you guys down so you can see this and what you do and just like i did on the nose in several other places is you can actually pinpoint exactly where i want to start to heal this thing so 
get the steam rolling in there. And I can keep this nice and precise right in that area. Right there. Dry this off. And holy cow, that thing is just about perfectly out. So you can see it did a little bit of alligatoring right there where I, I applied this, but it really made the foam pop up. So you, you didn't damage or alligator anything up top or anything down below, just simply where I placed the nozzle. And if you see that you need just a little bit more in that spot, get the steam rolling. And you can make this thing, man, nice and pinpoint. And I also found out when it comes to removing water slide decals, this thing works well too. So look at that. That thing is almost popped perfectly out of there. When it comes down to ideas like this, guys, this is what the internet is all about. So um, now that that stuff has popped, if you really want to finish it off with a little bit of spackle that I showed you in the first tip, go ahead, light sanding, painting, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, they'll paint match this sample. So if you take this to them, they give you a little jar. It's like $3 to, to uh, match the paint, and they did a, a very good job of that. So again... I hope you guys like this trick because I'm super stoked that I figured this thing out. It works phenomenal. I fixed a lot of lines and creases on the A10. I got this whole section here to pop out without damaging anything else. I got the nose to pop out without damaging that. So um, a little bit of paint, man, and this thing's going to be even hard to tell that it was wrecked. So if you think it's cool, like it, like it, subscribe, hit that bell notification, guys. Get back to that flying field with your wreck stuff looking good as new. Peace out. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.